Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga Readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I'm reading the Dragonlance Saga Book 3, Chapters 1 and 2. I'd like to take a moment and thank the members of this channel, and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the link in the description below. Chapter 1. Tarsus. This is a fool's mission, Tannis. So fittingly, the council at Southgate sent out a dozen fools upon it. Just look at our little creep, will ya? Your childhood sweetheart, Lorana, hanging as always upon every syllable as Elliston spouts his arcane philosophy. Riverwin and Goldmoon, barbarians a month married, and still love-struck. Gilthanus, your elvish once friend, who'd rather see a dead than embrace his sister, Lorana. Tika, who only recently traded her barmaid's apron for armor. The twins, Kerman and Raislin, once a warrior, at least, but the other, a wizard, none but you and Kerman trust. Sturm, a knight of Salamnia, true, but grown increasingly melancholy of late. You, half human, half elf, and the most unwilling leader a bunch of misfits ever followed. Myself, a dwarf, who should have enough sense to remain with his mountain cousins. And Tasselhoff barefoot, a useless kinder, has ever picked a goblin's pocket. So what's your point, Flint Fireforge? Point? Point? What do you think it? Tennis! Everybody, look! We're here! Tarsus the Beautiful. Damn. What's the matter with Tennis, Raislin? Your brains are in your sword arm, my brother. We set out on behalf of the Southgate refugees to book a ship at Tarsus, and look what we find. Oh, I see. No water. Very observant. We should have expected it. The Kender's map dates from before the Cataclysm. Tarsus, the legendary seaport, landlocked. As it doubtless has been these past 300 years, eh, Raced? Aye. When the fiery mountain fell from the sky, it created seas, but it also destroyed them. What do we do with all those refugees now, Tannis half Elven? I don't know. Still, we may as well enter the city, if they'll let us. Halt! Who goes there? Twelve companions who have traveled far and seek shelter in Tarsus, called the Beautiful. You've got a long memory, Redbeard. But you may enter him. We get all kinds, since these foolish rumors of Dragon War started spreading. And is there a place nearby where we can rest our weary bones? Well, straight down the street you'll find an inn. All oh, thanks, Sentry. Gone. Did you see? Aye. Stay here while I go tell the constable that one of the hated slamming knights is dead to return to Tarsus. I tell you, I didn't like the way those guards looked at Sturm when they spotted his armor. Vivowind and I noticed the same thing, Karaman. Do you know why the Tarsinians should react to learning you're a slamming knight, Sturm? Well, I suspect I do, Tennis. Once, Tarsus' white-winged ships brought back goods both precious and curious from all the known lands. And always the Knights of Slamnia, disciplined and pious worshippers of Paladine, kept order and guarded this greatest city of Abanasinia. As with many other cities, in time Tarsus grew in pride and conceit under an arrogant king-priest of Istar, till even the Knights fell under his sway. Then came the Cataclysm, a night of terror, where the skies rained fire. The gods in their righteous anger hurled a rock down upon all of Kryn, punishing both the king priest and his people. Following that catastrophe, Tarsus was landlocked as now, and the lord of the city, in need of a scapegoat, accused the Salamnic knights of somehow bringing calamity upon them. Thus the knights, too proud to fight back, were driven from the city by angry mobs already turning to new gods. Since that day of banishment, three centuries ago, no Salamnic knight has set foot within the walls of Tarsus. 
till now. And we're only here because we trusted a Kender's map. It's not my fault, Flint. I told Tannis the map was... No one's blaming you, Taz. Tomorrow, we'll find out if there's another port open somewhere we can reach. And perhaps Elliston will bear our message back to Southgate. Yes, I cannot be away from the people for long. Lorana will come with me. Goldmoon and I will go with him, as the people need her healing powers. Besides, I'm sure the bridal couple misses the privacy of their tent. Raceland and I will go with Tannis. I too go with Tannis. But your brother seems not fit to travel, Kenneth. It's not my health that concerns you, is it, Stonebright Blade? You fear my growing power, and thus you fear me. That's enough, both of you. No, Tannis, I'm afraid it is not. Either that magician goes back, or else I do. We'll settle this later, Sturm. And here's our night's lodging in advance, innkeeper, as you asked. We... Tannis, I want my room changed to one nearer Elistan's. That's hardly necessary, Lorana, if you're really only as helpmeet as you say. I love you, Tannis, but for the first time in my life I'm doing something meaningful. And you want me to quit because of some jealous notion you have about Elistan and me? Jealous? I told you in Quilinesty that whatever was between us when we were younger is over now. I... Yes, because you are but half-elf and now claim to love that warrior woman, Kidiara, who didn't even bother to return to help you on your quest. You don't want me, yet you're jealous of Elistan, whom I love only as a wise man. I told you, girl, I'm not... Trouble, Tannis! Guards coming this way! It can't be because of us, Taz. You think I picked a pocket outside, don't you? Well, I didn't! I went wandering, true, but I haven't even reached the marketplace when I saw a whole troop of guards striding in this direction. Then, I must think, and quickly. What's this about guards? Is it another of the Kenda stories? It is not! Don't you hear the tramp of booted feet coming this way? Do we fight, Tennis? Sturm, you and Gilthanas remain with me. The rest of you go upstairs and protect Lorana and Elistan. If we're imprisoned, escort them back to Southgate. I'm staying with you, Tennis. Of course, old friend. I didn't think you needed telling. Those of us staying down here will give our weapons to Karaman so the guards don't get them. A good idea. Here's my axe, Ketterman. And my sword, only legacy of my knighted father. Whatever you think of me, Sturm, I shall guard it with my magic and my life. Now, farewell, and a long farewell it will be. For some of us are not destined to meet again in this world. Trust you to exit with a flourish, Raceland. Well, if you're right, there's nothing we can do about it now. Go! That's them, Constable! I don't understand what this is all about. Is this how you welcome strangers into your city? We don't welcome strangers to our city, especially a knight of Salamia. Now, where are those who came with you? They're tired from our long journey and have gone to bed, but the four of us will come with you. Five! I want all of you! Go upstairs and get the others! Yes, sir. What the devil? Fools! The fire is already gone in an instant! So, so what would it be if we had stepped forward, gone up in flames? The magician must be out there! Let them be, please. We'll come with you peacefully. You have my word of honor on that. Very well. But two of you guards stay here at the stairs. Others will cover the remaining exits. Lorana, face forward. Quit signaling to your friends up there. You're mistaken, guard. There's no one there. Uh-oh, that crowd up ahead looks like trouble, Tannis. It's because of me. Even after three centuries, they remembered the supposed betrayal of Tossus by the Salamnic Knights. Pay them no mind, Sturm, and they'll not dare bother us. Dardin armor! Won't they have elf? 
Your mothers all were gully dwarves! Shut up, Tasselhoff! You're just making it worse! <laughs> Who? We got the Kender! Over here then! Hurry! The council's down this way, strangers. You're lucky we don't gut you all for inciting a riot. <laughs> Where's Taz? A miserable Kender got us into this, and now he... Hush, Flint. I only pray the others sneak away as easily as he seems to have. Where can they have been taken? It has been more than an hour. Sturm won't let anything happen to them. Never fear. I wish you would all relax. My spell keeps the guards downstairs, doesn't it? I could use some quiet that I may study a few more. Raceland, would you tell me about Kitiara? You've never met, yet she is your rival, eh? If not for my elder half-sister, Kitiara, I would have died in childbirth, as our mother did. At fifteen, she left home to earn her living by the sword. After she met Tannis, she traveled with the rest of us from time to time. And why do you all follow Tannis when he is a... A bastard half-elf? The others follow him because he listens to his feelings and realizes that sometimes a leader must think with his heart and not his head. Remember that. I notice you left out yourself. If you are as intelligent and as powerful as you claim, why do you follow Tannis? I do not follow him, girl of Quelenost. Tannis and I simply happen to be traveling in the same direction, at least for the moment. Chapter 2. Above and Below The Knights of Salamnia are not welcome in Tarsus. You wear armor. Your weapons are blood-stained and come quickly and readily to your hands. Clearly, you are skilled warriors. Neither are elves, kinder, or dwarves, or those who travel in their company, including red robe mages. Well, I understand a magic user travels with you. Mercenaries, undoubtedly, my lord. That is why I've brought them before the council. We are not mercenaries. We have come from the north where we freed 800 people from the Dragon High Lord and Pax Tharkaz. From the north, you say? Impossible! No one has ever come safely through the mountain kingdom of the dwarves, nor has... In there, you! Let me go, you vermin in armor! She was trying to hire mercenaries again, my lord, even after you ordered her to leave Tarsus. You treat a woman thus. Kill me if you will, but I go to the aid of the lady. And woe to any man who touch her now. Gilthanus, her accent was Sylvanesty, Elven. Aye, then she can only be Alhana Stavris, daughter of the Speaker of the Stars, and princess of her people. Lady Alana, I must place you under arrest. In me, Lord. Ah, uh, and you, Sir Knight, will accompany her, since you are so interested in her welfare. By the gods, Tannis, the rogue one who's been whispering counsel to the Lord is a draconian. This is bad, and if that weren't enough, Sturm nearly got us all killed being gallant. Remind me to stick with the mage next time. At least I know he's crazed. My lady, please allow me to. Do I beg a favor, Sir Knight? Whatever is within my humble power, I seem to have dropped something. A trifle, but precious to me. Could you please help me look for... Ah, here it is, my lady. But it certainly seems... No. My thanks, noble knight. As I said, it was but a trifle. Now I'm very weary, and as it seems, we are both going to the same place. You could do me another favor by giving me your assistance? Sturm is clearly smitten with Alhana Starbreeze, Tannis, and no good can come of it, for the Sylvanesty are a proud and haughty race, even for us elves. Feeling the loss of their way of life, they refuse to have even the slightest contact with humans. Over such matters were the Kinslayer Wars fought, 
hundreds of years ago. I know, Gilthanus, I know. This is all we needed. At least they're marching us to jail by the back route to avoid another riot. We can make a bid for freedom if we can get Sturm's attention off the princess for a moment. Flint stands ready, anyway, and Sturm will... Halt! Uh-oh. Now what? Clang! Urgh. One guard down, the other two fled. But who are these cloaked and hooded figures? Have we escaped one danger only to find a worse? Unmask yourself, strangers! Oth Sarthon a pardon. By all that's holy, Eth Sarthon and Peronath. Tanis, they. they are knights of Salamnia. But why are you. There is no time for explanations, Sturm Brightblade. The guards will return soon. Come with us. It appears we have little choice. This is where the Tarsinians call the Old City. No more than ruins now since the Cataclysm. Tannis, before we go further, I feel introductions are in order. Alhana Starbreeze, this is Tannis Half-Elven. He lived among us Qualinisti for many years. He is the son of my uncle's wife. That princess is Gilthanus's polite way of saying that I am illegitimate because my mother was raped by a human warrior during the years of darkness. Do you feel a need to apologize for your heritage, Tannis half elven No, I... Then do not. Gilthanus, I know you wonder why I came to Tarsus seeking aid, and I shall tell you. The evil that forced you, our cousins, to leave Qualinisty came to us as well, and in the end, we were forced either to flee or to perish horribly. My father... The Speaker of the Stars stayed on in Sylvanesty to fight the evil alone, saying only he had the power to prevent it from destroying our homeland. I do not know what he meant by that. After I had led our people to Southern Agoth, I came back alone in search of my father. It was stupid for you, an elf, to make yourself known in Tarsus, even before the Draconians came. How dare you speak thus to me, you half-man! But I did as protocol demands! Tannis, please. One does not speak thus to a princess of the Sylvanesty. She and Sturm will get on perfectly. Unless her precious honor gets her throat slit first. I... Tannis! The knights have discovered the ancient library of Tarsus. That's why they're here. They found records in Palanthus saying that in ancient times it held knowledge of dragons. And the knights' council sent them here to see if it still survived. It did, because it is underground. My friends, please meet Brian Donner, Knight of the Sword, Aaron Tolbo, Knight of the Crown, and Derek Crownguard, Knight of the Rose. We found a crumbling book here, written in an ancient language we could not understand, and containing pictures of dragons. We planned to copy it and return to Sangrist, where scholars could translate it. But instead, we found one here who can read it. Your kinder friend. Tasselhoff Burfoot? Why, he could barely read common, let alone in ancient tongues. Perhaps that was so before he found... The magical glasses of true seeing! Taz! I see the knights managed to rescue you, as they did me. I figured they would. Never mind that now. Where did you get those glasses? Why, in the kingdom of dwarves, of course. I knew what you were thinking, Tannis, that I stole them. But honestly, they were just lying on a table with no one around. I feared some thief might come along and steal them, so I took them for safekeeping. They are wonderful. One day, I left them lying in an antique map, and I found that, looking through them, I could read the writing on it. They work on all old writings, Tannis. Raceland called them the magical glasses of true seeing. You showed that damn magician the glasses? Well, I just happened to have them on me. He said if I tried to look at his spell books with them, he'd turn me into a cricket and swallow me whole. He also said something about the glasses seeing things too truly, but that didn't make any sense to me. So what have you learned from the book, little Kender? Oh, Tannis, it's so interesting. It has pictures of dragons, blue ones, red ones, even black and green ones. I never knew there were so many kinds. 
One page even shows these huge balls of glass made long ago by a great wizard. They're called dragon arms. And if you have one, you can gain control over the dragons. And they'll do what you say. Poppycock. No, the book even tells where they were kept. It... Horns up above. Hundreds of them. All praying at once. Storm Brightblade, bring the Kender and follow us at once. If you fail us in this... You best pray I am not there when the question of your full knighthood comes before the Council of Slamnia. The horns! Draconian, you said we'd be spared! The city will be spared, me lord, Counselor, after it has been taught a lesson. My lord, what is going on? Don't you know? The Draconian armies approach! And with them, the dragons! Thank you all for tuning in to this Dragonlance Saga reading. What did you think of the comic? Have you ever read Dragonlance comics before? Feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com or leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga, and I thank you for joining me in the celebration. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjava!